Hey everybody, glad uh, you joined us today on our video. Today is the day of um, our first moving of the fifth wheel. And here it is behind me. Uh, we're a little bit nervous uh, just because uh, we haven't moved it before. Um, our truck right here, of course, is, um, is our F350 2019. And uh, we're excited though. We're excited about being able to move today. Uh, but just so many things, you know, when you when it's moving day, so many things that you could forget, uh, and we're trying to remember uh, that we need to do uh, because obviously you don't want any damage, you don't want anything uh, crazy happening. And we do have uh, we do have experience uh, with the fifth wheel. Uh, we've had two in the past, but uh, this is our our newest, obviously, and uh, we've been in this same spot here for about 45 days now, and. Uh, we haven't had to move when we actually bought it we had it delivered and uh, that was that was nice because we didn't have a truck at the time uh, but today's the day we're moving and uh, we want to of course remember everything that needs to be remembered uh, there are things inside that my wife is working on and uh, you'll hear her in just a few minutes but um, there are things outside I want to remember and I remember when I put up these cameras you can see uh, you see the camera up there right there we have four of them all the way around um, I told myself when I put it up I got to remember to take those down and uh, so I remember this morning I got a little checklist going uh, so hopefully we remember everything but uh, we're excited today's the day uh, we get to move it's been raining the last few days and it's not raining today it is gray and overcast um, but uh, we should have a good a good travel day so we're only going about an hour away so we're excited about it. I just it. came in from being outside. Let's see how Robin's doing on the inside. How you doing? <laughs> well, just getting started in this room. I've um, worked from the bathroom, the bedroom. I haven't done anything in the kitchen, really, except for I got the straps out to do the um, dinette chairs mm -hmm. and a couple of other little things. But it's a little, a little overwhelming feeling just because I'm nervous about forgetting anything. I mean, we have a lot of home decor things. I'm just going to yep. set in this collapsible uh, laundry basket. Yeah, that's and very then, handy to have that little yeah, basket. Yeah, and then just uh, probably set it in this chair. Um, we've only broke down, I think, well, it was just that one time at the um, Lazy Days when they were getting ready to transport it. So um, we've added some things since then. But So this is what it looks like now. And uh, if you want, we can put a shot in there uh, when it's all tore down. It took about, oh, three or four minutes to... Uh, pack up that laundry basket and just set some other things around that um, footrest fits in the middle when the slides are in we did that when we left lazy days but pretty simple I'm not sure probably the pillows won't stay there <laughs> I'm sure they're gonna go flying but um, this is uh, just a test run to see what what moves what doesn't yeah, I thought I'd just give you an update on what it looks like with the slides all in uh, ready for travel there is a little bit of room in there um, obviously not a comfortable living space, but there is a place to come in and sit down. So just wanted to go ahead and share that. And this is what the kitchen is looking like right now. Getting ready for travel, obviously. These things won't be there, but the Berkey we just put in the sink. Uh, chairs are strapped. My little lettuce thing is down there still lit up, but obviously that won't be lit up. The dog crate's here ready to be uh, put in this location. Everything that is uh, that could go flying is uh, put away or down. The bathroom here is the only room that doesn't have a slide, but unfortunately, <laughs> the dog knows something's up. <laughs> He's like, no, I'm just going to hide right here. Hey, Jasper. What are you doing? <laughs> what is it? You know we're going to go somewhere, huh? Aw, it's okay. It's good. No, it's nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> You're so cute. So get out, check it out. I can lined up nicely. I might be a little high. Even.
so we just left where we're staying. How's it feel, babe? Feels very good, actually. Um, I made a few turns already, and um, it's actually feel. I mean, I can tell on the turns it's longer than anything we've ever had. So it's going to be a little bit of an adjustment, but um, I'm thankful that I have a little bit of experience with the fifth wheel um, and drive. You know, pulling them. Uh, I don't even know how long our old ones were, but this is 41 feet and plus a 22 foot truck. Yeah. So it's Goodness. definitely an adjustment, but yeah. it feels very good. The truck feels very good pulling it. I know, it doesn't even feel like we're towing anything, yeah. really. Well, we just had to pull over our TPMS. We took us a minute to figure out what that beeping was, because we're in a newer truck, you know, that we're not familiar with. Um, but it's the TPMS alarm going off saying that one of the tires on the rig are um, has high pressure. So Elias is going out with his... Um, tire pressure gauge and is checking everything and we'll wait and see what happens. We're at the Fruitville Road exit in uh, just south of Bradenton near Sarasota. So what'd you find out? Well, the tires are all at 132 degrees. This is flashing that these two tires are having issues but they're not. They look good and the TPS, TPMS monitor on it uh, sensor looks fine. But so what do we do? I know we were just is, stuck in traffic for the last yeah, half hour. This has been just, um, this has been fluky a few times. We Remember we, we had this on the uh, Class A, Class A mm -hmm. and we pulled off several times because it's beeps. We get off and look, everything looks fine. So it's kind of like a, a false warning, but I don't like it. Still, like you have to get that. off and you check. You have to get off and check. Well, that's kind of scary. So we're just gonna, I mean, it stopped, or did you reset something? I just pushed, pushed the button. To turn it off, or what? I just pushed, there's only three buttons on it. I pushed the button and it stopped, so. Okay. But. Well, we only have like an hour left in our trip today, so um, hopefully it doesn't happen again because it's a little nerve wracking, but it let me check on the dog who's yep. in his crate uh, in the back in the kitchen. So he's so nice and cool back there. That's so. a reminder though to, to work on getting the better TPMS monitor. Yeah, that we've been looking at considering. Also, we're having a little trouble with this thing. Um, the Furion cameras. We have yeah. the two rear, or two side and rear camera. Yeah, it's but. just not showing us um, what, what we're supposed to be seeing. So we're gonna actually, since we're sitting here, we're gonna pair it up again. We're just uh, pulled off on an exit near, ramp, near, really. Near, yeah, near, yeah, near Sarasota. Anyway, uh, hopefully that's the last we hear of that monitor for a while, <laughs> um, but glad everything's okay. Make sure uh, my back end doesn't hit that picnic table. Okay. Well, I shouldn't. Be careful this route. We should be fine up here. My picnic looks a bit dazzy. Okay, that slide, these slides are fine. Yeah, we'll be good. And then we want to be even with that cement, right? Where do you want Stay on this side so I can see you in my mirror. But then just keep an eye on that picnic table. So everybody, we have made it to our campground uh, for the next two nights. Uh, first day uh, pulling the solitude uh, with our 2019 F-350. And the question is, did we have any surprises? Did we, is there anything that happened? And the answer is, number one, we had the TPMS system that we had in the truck. It's a separate unit uh, for the uh, solitude. It kept going off. It went off one time and we pulled over, looked at the tires, everything looked fine, took off again, and then another tire uh, was giving us an alarm. And then before I knew it, all four tires were giving us an alarm. So, um, but we realized that this TPMS system, it, it's uh, a not, a, not a great quality uh, unit. 
right here it is uh, but I did buy it on Amazon and um, it wasn't you know the cheapest uh, unit but um, it it uh, gave us some issues in the past so but uh, that was really the most uh, surprising thing that happened to us uh, that kind of worried us a bit um, the truck pulled like a champ though uh, I mean I've heard people say oh if you have that truck or if you have this truck or that truck um, you won't even know you're pulling a trailer and I just couldn't imagine that because every other the, the other two fifth wheels I've had have always struggled kind of to pull the fifth wheel but uh, but this truck did not have any issues at all pulling this fifth wheel and there were times that I felt like I don't even know there's a trailer on my back and so we're very very impressed with this truck and its and its capabilities so sorry for the wind uh, it is a little windy here where we are uh, we're in Arcadia, Florida, uh, just about uh, an hour and a half away or so from where we, we left um, our, our, our previous spot where we were. But we're just here for two days. Also, this is the first time I'm using these uh, Anderson block jacks, and, uh, or jack blocks, I should say. And uh, they, they, look, they went on real easy. I just stuck them under there because they're magnetic, and they went on real easy. Actually, when we pulled up, I wasn't able to put them on the, the two middle ones this one and the one on the other side i wasn't able to put them on there because it was so close to the ground so i was only able to get four on but uh, uh i like having them um, i'm trying to get those stickers off but uh they're, they're on they're pretty good but i like having them uh they, they, they felt good putting them on and uh, the jacks didn't go down very far i feel like it's gonna give me more stability um and actually now i'm talking about that um those jack blocks um, I wanted to mention something. I stored them in here in my bay by the uh, my generator. I had them stored in here, and we were driving, and I got about, we were about halfway here, and I thought to myself, "Oh no, I didn't secure them. I just was storing them in here, and I thought they're bouncing around. They're you know maybe they'll they'll hit my batteries uh, or something like that." And so I was a little bit nervous um, opening this up. Let me open it up and secure this. And you can see those two there. I had two there, and then two right here, and then two right here. And they didn't move at all. They stayed right there. Um, I was wondering if I might need to put uh, some kind of a brace or some kind of a, just a little ledge right here to keep everything up there. But uh, this mattress stayed here. Uh, this, this here stayed there. Uh, nothing moved around, so I just grabbed the four that were right here and, uh, and put them out. Um, but all in all, it was a very, very good trip. A very very um, easy trip for us and so we're very thankful for that so let's go on. hey everyone thank you so much for watching the video hope you're enjoying it please like this video subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification button it'll be a big help to us thank you so much